Hello. Hi guys, I look like shit. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. It's gonna be a big change, but it's gonna be much needed. These roots are literally, whoop, they're insane. This video's been kind of a long time in the making, and I'm recently having this weird realization. I've used Poshmark for years. Here, I'm gonna put my hair up because I'm gonna keep touching it. Just don't look at my roots, I'm getting them done tomorrow, so ignore it. Yeah, I've used Poshmark for years. It's just easy because I have a label maker. It already makes the label for me. I get the boxes sent to me for free. I'll show you how I do everything, and I'll put the links to everything below, like in terms of my label maker and where I get the boxes. You don't need a label maker. I just started getting one after I like did this so often. I know there's people that do Poshmark like full time as their job. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't start like making money on it until I gained like a social media following. There's some people that just buy stuff because they want a handwritten letter for me because I do handwrite letters with each order over six dollars because that's ridiculous it's just it gets out of hand i recently realized like i've been seeing people selling their clothes on instagram and i know that that's a lot of work i mean it's a lot of work what i'm doing anyways and poshmark does take a percentage out of you know my sales so like say i'm selling like a brand new pair of shoes for 400 dollars, which i'm that literally isn't the case i have things on there for literally like 12 dollars it takes like a hundred dollars out of that and then plus people are paying shipping seven dollars shipping on top of that so I do think that like it's, I mean, I do think it's really good and it's really easy. And I, at the point I had people telling me like, why don't you just do sell on Instagram? Like, why don't you do this? It's easier. And I'm like, because no, this is easier for me. It's all done for me. I don't have to do anything. I can just like drop stuff off downstairs and have them pick it up. I don't even have to go to the post office. And with my anxiety, like I don't even want to do all that. But I'm at the point where like, I'm making so many sales and I'm constantly like, I'm growing my channel as whatever, um, Social media is my job now. I'm getting clothes sent to me and I just I'm buying stuff all the time and I am overwhelmed that I'm constantly selling stuff. So I think that I'm gonna have this video posted, but you should all follow me on Instagram and I'm gonna still leave everything up that's listed on Poshmark, already on Poshmark, but you should follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be selling my clothes on Instagram. It's gonna be a certain page and it's gonna be like a first come first serve basis. And then you just will pay the shipping and that way I don't have like a percentage taken out of it and I don't have to like up the prices and like all this stuff, you know? Cause there'll be shirts that I literally want to just sell for like five dollars but then you guys are having to pay seven dollars shipping on that and I'm only making two dollars out of that so it's like what's the point of even posting it you know like just donate that so there are some things that are worth it are some things that are not I've had a Poshmark since 2013 and it is a lot of work but like you can do it if you literally just set like a week like it, it, it takes I have to devote like if I do it if I pull it out I'm like all right this is about to take a whole week of my life because it really does but you do make money from it I just can't help but think of how much more money I'd be making if I didn't have all those percentages just taken out i don't know pros and cons i've tried depop before and i just like can't understand it at all like i don't i don't remember it just like wasn't for me the fact that like i needed my own shipping stuff but i guess that's what i'd be doing if i sold on instagram anyways anyways but yeah follow me on instagram because by the time this video is up i'm gonna be posting stuff on a separate page that i will announce on instagram but yeah here's my video of me doing poshmark stuff i'm zoning out i can't wait to get my hair done i literally can't stare at my roots any longer like i get i get angry it looks like shit <laughs> anyways Love you bitches, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. <laughs> that was terrible. Love you, bye. So these are all, these are all my hats and I'm gonna go through them all because what the hell. I'm gonna sell all my trucker hats. Except this, love this one.
the fact that I still have more to hang up here, uh, what am I going to do? Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more, because I don't feel the need no more, no. Just want to make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to. gone through keep in mind I go I do this like every three months I've only taken like four pictures and I'm already like exhausted and that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye you start to get dressed and then we cry cause we both know it's gonna hurt but not as much as this does so baby bye it's for the hard to follow my dreams. These are my bins that I'm working with. Oh God. Okay, this is a pile of what we're going through so far. Brand new pair of packs and jeans I sold for 20 bucks. I only got $16 and they were 50 originally and they're new with tag. Look, new with tag and I got 16 bucks. They were originally $54.95. You got $16? Yeah. They've been on my Poshmark store for like three years and no one's ever bought them because they're skinny jeans and I guess people don't wear them anymore. How do you still have those they've after three years and never wear them? Because they've been, I haven't given them away and they've just been offered for sale. I've just kept them in those bins for years. Like as I move apartments, I always have just kept the clothes until they buy it, so. You, like, you had a pair of jeans with the tags on them three years ago. I think it might be longer than that. Yeah, shut up. Dude. But why? They were so much. Maybe you need to up these prices, babe. Well, then they don't get bought. You don't know that. 
I think times have changed. I think I just need to get rid of stuff, so you telling me to like up it, I, I just need to get rid of things, okay? You feel me, dog? I almost got a lot of trips to Ford coming up. Yeah, this is the money that just goes towards, last year it went towards the trip, road trip. Well, this year it's gonna go towards a your house. LA trip and Veneers, our... I don't make that much. What? I don't make that much on here. And our ski trip and our things and our but it makes mountain. me happy to like be clearing cleaning out like i'm getting rid of stuff I'm like yeah valentine's day weekend trip <laughs> go to the mountains february i'm your paralyzer starry this was my go-to bartending jacket and everybody made fun of me and said it was like an ugly hannah montana jacket i'm getting ten dollars off this but it's like honestly not even worth it sometimes that ten dollars because i have to pack i, I hand write everyone a letter and my arm hurts. Like, I wish I could just type it, but... break but these are all that I've done so far one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it took me so freaking long because I handwrite everyone a letter and it really does make a difference but it takes so freaking long like my hand hurts um I still have these to write but it is so tired I am so mother flipping tired but I'm gonna still stay up to box them even though I'm running on two hours of sleep from the night before so that they're not just like all on my floor Frick. Woo! The amount of work I put in, honestly, it's not even worth the little amount of money I'm making from selling these, but I don't know. It's something I've always done, so. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got someplace that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky It might feel just like you're on your own But baby, it's another lie, remember you were me I try to work, 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 but it doesn't work I try to say something, but there's a word I try to just Poshmark orders together. Someone bought this bag. I just listed it last night. This was the first designer bag I've ever had. Like, well, I've had like coach and stuff growing up, but you know what I mean. And this was also um first one I bought, I guess. I bought it just like this, used. It smells like an old lady, to be honest, because the lady gave it to me and like included bath bombs and soap and stuff that like I didn't ask for, but like she did it to be like cute and it was really like, like my mom was cracking up and I was like, oh my god, I'm out of breath. So yeah, somebody just bought this and it, it's just, I just wanted to show it to y'all that like, this was my first thing, designer bag. This was my first designer bag I ever bought for myself and I'm selling it now for, I think it was originally bought probably like 1600, I don't know, but selling it for 300, which I only make $240 off of it, but it's pretty used, it was used before me and I was just really quickly checking it and I just found a ton of cash and a $4 rewards gift card. But like, good thing I checked. They would have just been like, oh, Merry Christmas to me. And I would have been like, yeah. And I'm actually getting my nails done tomorrow, so now I have cash to tip with, because I hate not having cash to tip with, but I don't have a debit card right now, so I, because I lost it, so I can't get cash out of the bank. I just talked a lot for literally no reason. But yeah, saying goodbye to this number. I'm gonna like spray it with some stuff, because I don't know, it's been sitting for a while. And yeah. But, mm, I don't even want to kiss it. Like, I don't know. 
goodbye. But that's just cute, and like hopefully it has a new home to someone who, you know, was like me, like just bought my first used bag. I didn't really care, it was just like cool to have. And it fits so much stuff in here. It's amazing, okay. Bye. Taking a break. Here is about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I've done. A, I'm sending out twelve orders today and doing the rest later. This is like the worst place to put my camera. Why did I do that? <sighs> okay, it is 4:17 in the morning and. I am tired. I do have to be up early because I make my appointments in the morning for things because that's when morning weekday mornings are when there's no people places. So that's when I get my first nail appointment. I'm going to fix this up there and that's when I go to the post office. Anyways, it's 4 a.m. or whatever time I told you. This is the time when I pick up my packages. Everybody's asleep in my building and I will not run into another human being. I literally, no matter how bad I wanna open something or I see my package delivered, I do not go pick up my packages until like it's the middle of the night so that I don't see anybody. This is also like another reason I really want like a house because apartment living, like I literally trap myself inside here in fear of running into people in the hallway. I avoid the elevator. I will get into my car in the parking garage, drive down to the second floor to get packages instead of riding the elevator down because I don't want to sit stand in an elevator with another human being somebody who doesn't get it listening to that would be like what is your problem I have super bad anxiety and it's not it's not that like I get anxiety like I have anxiety so bad that I overthink these things it's so crazy but yeah so uh basically apartment living isn't for me i've lived in an apartment forever but my last apartment i had like a separate door because i was on the first floor so i would always go in that door so i didn't have to like see anyone and then another one before that i had like a separate elevator than everyone else well other people but there's never anyone in it it's hard to explain sorry anyways i got a ton of stuff on amazon these are literally all amazon packages <laughs> So a long time ago, Boohoo sent me like some clothes, but it did, they didn't fit right, but I really liked them. So instead of like asking them to send me the right size, I just bought the right size on my own. Guys, what is wrong with my mood? Why am I like this right now? Hopefully this one fits, cause it's so cute. It's also like my birthday weekend, literally tomorrow. I have nothing planned. I live alone in a city where like I have friends here but not like where I'd want to plan anything because I hate leaving my house and I hate birthday dinners and dinners in general. They're just so forced and then it's like all your friends, like not all my friends are friends with the same like people. I don't have like one friend group, you know, so they're, it's just like a forced awkward thing. I feel like I don't want to do that to people. So look at these pajamas I got. They're way too big but they were the only size in stock. And normally these like fuzzy pajamas are like $200, $300. So I grabbed these. Oh, they could be cute like Valentine's Day. Oh, these are gonna shed like a mofo. Oh my God, no. I'm not even gonna put those on right now because they're already shedding feathers. But let me show you what I got on Amazon. These are my go-to sticky boots. I haven't worn a bra. I, I mean, I wear sports bras if I have to. 
but I haven't worn a bra in like two or three years since I like used to bartend before COVID. So I just like to every few months get new stickies. And these are my favorite ones from Amazon because they come in a case. And I literally just like throw my stickies in like a Ziploc bag or something, but it comes with so many literally in a case. And sticky boobs are reusable. I reuse the crap out of them, but you still, you, you can't reuse them forever. So I get new ones every now and then when I think about it. This is that viral TikTok thing that you put in your hair. You put this in your hair. Oh, it's sorry. I can't. I'm sorry. It's four in the morning. Heatless curls. The cheetah one was the only one that would ship fast. I don't know why I got cheetah, but it's kind of funny. Kind of chewy, kind of funny. Mm. I don't know if I could sleep with this in. Why is this so funny to me? It's so funny. Okay. Anyways, and then I got a planner. I already have a planner, but it started in July, and I want one that I can open it up and it start. I used to have to like go through. I didn't want to rip them out, so I'm just starting a whole fresh new planner. This one's just on Amazon. I like. I used to spend like 80 bucks on a really nice planner, then I used to spend all my money on like personalized stickers and like I would take the time to like deck it it was insane it was like an addiction and now I realize I just like simple planners usually I go to Target but this one is just super simple planner pad and then because I'm starting I'm starting to make a lot more money than ever before um I got a budget planner like a separate planner just to keep track of all my finances finances why'd I say that finances and spendings and whatever so let's hope that I stick with this and hope that I like it I will link this below I'll link all of it below because you know what I always do people still ask me for things I'm like sweetie you know I link everything and if you don't know now you know you, you can find it somewhere I promise you just got you, you just gotta creep <sighs> It lasts one year. Take control. Take control of your money. Spend well. Start saving. Set, track, and achieve your financial goals. For Ricky, that's what I'm talking about. Clever folks. It's a bi-weekly budget planner. A mortgage. I honestly don't even know what a mortgage is. Sorry. I mean, I do, but I, 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 I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. Do you get what I'm saying? I still don't know. I should have said that. I still don't really understand what it is. What am I good at? What? How do I monetize my hobbies? Okay, where do I get to like the start of it? Wait, that's it? Oh. You silly goose. This is honestly a little confusing, but I'm sure I'll figure it out when I sit down and play with it. You know what I'm saying? I've really been talking for eight minutes. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Should I open this planner? I bought two planners. Maybe I should wait till the other one comes so I can decide which one I want to open. You and I. But this is now my budget planner, so I will keep track. I love looking at making money. Like, it really is addicting. And when people say that money can't buy you happiness, it really can, though. Because it can buy you a home and food and shelter. Spending money is, th that term, spending money, you can get happiness. I think the term should be something like, being rich can be lonely, or like, being rich isn't always fun, is a better term than, like, money. Because money can buy you happiness. It can buy you a large pizza. You can do that without money. Extra extra cheese, extra dipping sauces. So that's what I mean by that. They need to, who am I talking to? I gotta go to bed. I gotta be up soon. Bye. Bye.